Six years ago, she came to America to escape violence by the terror group ISIS. But a Dearborn woman says she's experienced a different kind of fear here at her job. Sina Najim says her Walmart managers not only allowed discriminatory abuse, they took part in it themselves. Yeah, she says she was ridiculed for wearing a hijab and endured slurs about her faith and her heritage. The store in question is a Walmart Supercenter near Ford Road and the Southfield Freeway. Victor Williams is there with more on the claims in the lawsuit and how Walmart is responding tonight. Victor, good evening. Good evening, Kimberly and Jason. This woman says that she moved right here to Dearborn expecting a safe place as well as a safe work environment. But according to this lawsuit, the latter of which did not happen once she started working right here at this Walmart in Dearborn. It's unfortunate that in this day and age, uh, even after all the Black Lives Matter movement. Some people just simply just don't get it. Today it was announced a lawsuit has officially been filed against Walmart and two managers for allegedly discriminating against an Iraqi refugee who could barely speak English. And I just wanted to get my check and leave the place. Sina Najim clearly had tears in her eyes as she described to us through a translator what it was like to be berated by her manager in front of customers for nearly a year. She always used uh, to tell me, like, you know, I'm going to make you quit. I'm going to make you, um, I'm going to fire you. And she has other people with her, and they used to laugh at me. It's also alleged that the manager and other employees would use racial slurs towards Sina and would ridicule her for simply wearing a hijab. They were talking about me and laughing about me, and they were saying stupid. She has a hijab. Why do you let her be on in, the, in this department? The abuse is said to have been so bad, the woman and her lawyers claim she started to have anxiety and other health issues. Unfortunately, when she tried to go up the chain to report the problems, there were never any solutions. It's so hurtful to think that this poor individual had to endure all of this, uh, escaping you know, ISIS and, and Iraq and leaving her children behind to make a better life for herself. And she has to endure this in the United States of America in the heart of city of Dearborn. It's just shameful. And Walmart said that they'll be looking into the accusations. They sent over this statement, which reads, quote, Walmart takes the allegations like this very seriously and we want all of our associates to feel welcome and respected. We will respond appropriately with the court once we have been served the complaint. And Dearborn Victor Williams, local forum. Okay, Victor, thanks.